They're a recent arrival in Hong Kong's political scene, and despite their marginal influence, top officials in the city have gone above and beyond to curtail their influence. The Hong Kong National Party, a pro-independence group that advocates separation from China, has been given a three-week ultimatum. Now they have until August 7th to explain in writing why the party should not be banned. Of course, this is a political suppression and uh, it's possibly affect all the political parties and all the political organizations in Hong Kong. And we are the first one. And the next one is coming. The third one is coming. On Tuesday, police delivered a letter to the group's founder, Andy Chan, saying it was recommending a ban on his party due to national security concerns. In Hong Kong, we have freedom of association, but that right is not without restriction. Uh, according to the Hong Kong Bill of Rights Ordinance, uh, restrictions can be made by law if it is necessary in the interests of national security. John Lee warned that if indeed he decided to ban the party, anyone attending meetings or making donations to the group could face up to two years in prison. He added, however, they'd still be given a chance to appeal his decision with Hong Kong's most powerful politician, the city's chief executive, Carrie Lam. It marks the first time a political party is targeted under the society's ordinance, a piece of legislation that has been previously criticized by a UN human rights body for unduly restricting freedom of association. These kind of conditions would have a chilling effect on the civil society uh, on the whole, because like, we don't know what it means by national security in the government sense, that actually can, any, any groups can be accused of uh, endangering national security. Calls for independence have grown louder in Hong Kong after a wave of pro-democracy protests that brought the city to a standstill in 2014 failed to achieve its goals. Since then, activists seeking more autonomy or all-out independence for the city have been barred from running in elections or even detained. But in a Chinese city that has prided itself on the unique freedoms enjoyed by its citizens, alarm bells are already ringing as concern spreads over whose freedom will have to be limited next in the name of national security. Juan da Silva, Al Jazeera.